Okay, a warm welcome to the channel. And at the moment, I'm trying to build up my library because certain reasons of what happened uh, to my channel a couple of days ago is going to be like three or four days ago. But we're getting over it, businessman and a little bit stubborn, as I said before. What this video is about is possibly about the first video I ever made about the Free Gorter Dam way back in 2020, June 2022. And it's when I got 153,000 views, which was like, oh my God. Now, if I can get that again, that would be amazing. How can that happen? Well, if you subscribe, become a member, just help the algorithm of YouTube build up this channel again. And I sort of learned a lesson over this. DTA, don't trust anyone. So the Free Gorded Dam in Hubei province, right in the center of China, very close to Yingchang, about 600 kilometers, 400 miles east of Chongqing. And from Wuhan, I think it's about the same. I honestly don't know. So we mentioned before that the Free Gorges Dam started construction way back in 1994. It was opened around about 2006. Then the power came, and then the electricity came, and then the uh, locks and the elevator came. The Free Gorges Dam is a doomed dam, quote unquote. It is a doomed dam. One, because of its size. It's 2.3 kilometers long, 185 or 180 to 105 meters tall. Yes, I know I've done that before, but it's a gravity dam. It's a gravity dam. So what that means is that it's nothing is holding it to the ground. Nothing is holding it to the sides. It's just pure gravity and the weight of the actual dam is holding back 600 miles, sorry, 600 kilometers of water at a depth of an average of over 100 meters. The way that they built the dam, that they had to resettle over 1 million people. So all these villages, villages all these beautiful parts of China, the Three Gorges, was stunning. I was very lucky in 94 to be in Wuhan and to go and see the Three Gorges. It was absolutely stunning. All that is all gone. You can check out my other channel. I think I've got some footage there of life before the dam. The quality is not very good. This is one thing I found about getting information from China, is that when they do videos, it always seems to be in 720 which means the lowest high definition. And before the year 2000, well, it's in pretty poor quality, like at 480, which is less than HD. But this is technology, and if we dwell into the past, this is what we have to put up with, unless it gets digitally remastered. That is beyond me. So this gravity dam, imagine here is a wall. Just imagine that. Yeah. And constantly, 24-7, 365 days of the year, 24 hours a day, it's being pushed, 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 pushed. Eventually, it is going to move. Now, I don't know how evenly it's distributed. Last year, we had some uh, deformation on the dam. The Chinese authorities admitted it but they said it was safe because of the push. Is it an even push or is it one push here, one push there? So for surely, you know, this, because the dam is also very thin, it's not a wide dam, it's thin. It's not a curved dam, which all dams should be. You look at the Hoover Dam, you look at mod newer dams in China, they all seem to be curved. And these are the ones that seem to last longest. Look at the Hoover Dam, 1935, it's one of the amazing dams of the world, but it's still standing and still working, even though this year, not a little bit of a drought in that area, but it's still standing. One, because of the high quality, two, because of the maintenance, and three, it's not a gravity dam, I do believe, but please don't quote me on that. The Three Gorges is completely opposite. <clears throat> it's straight. And so, it, the, we found last year 
and again, the Chinese CCP authorities, the Free Gorges Corporation Management Team or whatever, found that it had deformalities. So, but we don't have access for being up close. There are some videos on CTGN, Chinese Television Global Network, quite recently. Go and check it out on YouTube. Uh, there, around the dam, with one or two floodgates open. This was about three weeks ago from today, which is the 7th, no, the 8th, uh, when this is being broadcast, the 9th of October 2021. So these are all the reasons eventually, like any other dam, if they're not well maintained, they are going to collapse. How long it's going to take to collapse, we don't know. But if it's not maintained, if it's not looked after, if, but we keep on seeing up and close personal images of cracks in the dam. Let's take a break. Concerned citizens, if it did collapse, I personally don't think it's going to happen in my lifetime, but I know it is going to collapse. I'm in my 50s. We have Chinese, German Chinese experts that say within the next 30 possible years. Now, every year since the dam has been built or operational, from the very basics operations, there's always been a problem every single year. If you go into Google, YouTube, whatever, and you type in Free Gorges Dam, 2008, 2009, 2010, right up to 2021, you're always going to find problems. Now, these are not skittle scattle, some of the fake YouTubers. These are from people like Interesting Engineering, experts of um, experts of modern dams, how water flows, how the technology is. But the Free Gorges Dam Corporation, they won't tell us if it did. You possibly have seen the simulation where the water starts flowing and within 45 minutes, Ying Chang would be flooded within a certain amount of time, Wuhan, and this goes all the way down to Shanghai, to the actual opening to the Pacific Ocean or to the Yellow Sea or the China Sea. And also because of the this massive, you could say, tidal bore, man-made tidal bore, it's going to go backwards upstream to Chongqing. So that would get flooded as well. The Free Gorges Dam was a idea from the early of early 20th century by the, um, you could say, the chairman of China at the time. Then it was Mao's idea, and then it went into operation. So it was always a plan to do it, to control Mother Nature. But we learn from experience not to control with Mother Nature, to work with Mother Nature. The Free Gorges Dam doesn't work with the with Mother Nature at all. What would happen? There would be a huge amount of lives lost, unfortunately. Industry, because it is a place where they do make a lot of manufactured goods, not just for mainland China, but around the world, would take a effect. Farmlands would happen. This would really cripple China, not necessarily the CCP, but China in itself. And I can't imagine what, how lives would be turned upside down completely. One minute you have farmland, cows, chicken, a BMW, the next minute it's all gone. Personally, I think the Free Gorges Dam should have never been built. Really, it should have never been built. But because it was a dream of someone over a hundred years ago and kept on being a dream until reality, there it is standing. It is moving. You could say micro million micro meter per year or whatever it is. But once that pressure, that pushing keeps going on and on and on like that, what is going to be the effect? Eventually, it is going to give way. When? We don't know. Maintenance? We don't know. Webcams are 
unpredictable. Transparency in China, well, pretty much zero. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this little green screen presentation and do stay tuned to the channel. Please make sure you hit that notification button. Check out my Twitter because most videos I do, I do put there as advertising on Twitter. So please join me on Twitter and I just put in the latest post. I don't really, be honest, um, interact with Twitter at all. Most of my interaction comes from the comments below. So if you do have any suggestions for videos or want me to shut up or if I waffle too long, please do let me know. I'm trying to sort out the echo in this room at the moment, hence I'm using this microphone here and hopefully that's going to do the trick. Be good, be well, thank you, bye-bye. I'll turn it off right now.